tier lists. They have some cool stuff about them, but yeah, overall their disadvantage state usually is yeah, that, so horrible that it's really not worth yeah, this playing them. Really, really difficult to determine who's the worst character in the game because like everyone kind of has something going for them, even if yeah. it's not great. You can't really sleep on any character. Io Mantelo versus M Dog. Okay. Io Mantelo. Okay. And an M Dog. Alrighty. Let's see how this goes now. Oh, it's I, on three stock. Oh, yeah, yeah, because they're playing doubles. Yeah, that, that's why. I, w I was confused for a second. Yeah, I, I thought they were doing a button check or they realized they didn't want to go to Smash Bros, but looks like that's the reason. Uh, I wish I could tell you, audience, about this matchup, but honestly, I know nothing about these two characters. So, Well, I do know some stuff, but I don't know if there's anything matchup specific about each of them. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, Gandalf kind of has like slower moves. It's going to be interesting to see how he deals with the Gordo throw, maybe just him with jabs. Yeah, well, the Gordos, as far as I know, it's if you hit them with any move that does 2%, then yeah. it's all good. So, if yeah. it's... It's not so much the damage to get back, but it's the, you know, he has to be able to confirm with Ganon has lag on a lot of his moves. What does he have that comes out fast enough to react and throw? So that's really what I want to see from, from the Gandalf here, how he's going to deal with the Gordos. Yeah, that's very true, but let's go ahead and see what goes in. We got the down throw to the Rar Bear. Very beautiful oh. stuff, and the Gordo to Gordo the down smash. Gordo set up. Oh, they actually going to find that snipe with the Gordo. Go tries to go deep with that forward air. Yo, did Io Mantelo just try to get a suicide kill with that side beat. That would have been crazy. Honestly, I feel like that's the only appropriate response to what just happened. Oh my goodness, and the four smash with so much startup lag, he's gonna go ahead and be able to shield that just in time. But the tech chases and the down uh, tilts are coming out with the side beast. Oh, and that had to have been a misinput going with the side B. I feel like up B still could have reached at that line. Yeah, I think what happened was that he was trying to up B and then he was trying to do the sideways drift as much as possible and then that ended up being the result. Just accidentally pressing sideways a little bit too much. Tried going for the dare. This man's going crazy right now. Yeah, and that was really smart of M-Dog just to use his extra drums. He knew that the Gandalf was going to try and go down there with the spike. He knew he didn't have legend flexibility. Yep. And right now, M Dog doing a lot of work, putting in a lot of grabs into the follows, but there's the up smash at the ledge. Actually going to do it. DD has such a big buy, he had nowhere to go to avoid the up smash. Get yeah. up attack, just, uh, get up neutral get up rather, not going to be safe. Yeah, and I want to see Io Mantelo do a little bit more tech chases. Like after the side B, don't go immediately go for a down tilt. Just see what kind of reaction he's going to do, either roll or tech or something, because you can get a lot of mileage off of that if you get the right reads. Yeah, it's not even so much just the percentage that comes with it. Like, yes, down tilt's guaranteed, but then when you want to start looking for that kill mix up, you don't know their tech options. You know, if you start using it and waiting for them to do their tech, you can start conditioning to them, like, oh, they're going to roll most of the time, and that's what you can punish. Yeah, but right now, Io Mantilla with these beautiful edge cancels with the down B, trying to get that Nair off the edge of the stage. Not quite going to find it, though, and End Dog's going to be able to return stage control. Just trying to find that kill right now, and but the, the down B does Wizard's it. Wizard's foot not going to be enough. It looked like it was, had the spark come out. Is the up to not going to find it? This man... Just trying. Th this man is down by only 11%, and he's trying to style on stream. The <laughs> wizard's foot going to be enough, though. Finds it. That's going to be the kill from the bomb to the top. Yo, what a way to start up the stream today for MSM 98. Two heavies is always hype because you have yeah, all this ridiculousness M -Dog going on. looked so control of that match for the first half too. Like he, he had that zero to 60 combo. Iomantelo SD'd very early, but good stuff to Iomantelo bringing that one all the way back. All right, so we're going to go to FD. Maybe M-Dog wants to try and set up some more Goto traps or just force, Gan force Ganon into a pretty bad neutral that he has. But let's see what goes on right now. There's the Gordos actually giving... Oh, <laughs> F-Smash. <laughs> oh, man, that was so much damage. Oh, up, uh, weak up here, back here, confirming... Honestly, at this point, I kind of want to just see M-Dog use these borders a little more. Ganondorf can't really approach that well. He doesn't have to be approaching with such a lead. He can just put Ganon on the ledge and get so much free damage, even a kill for just these insane ledge sets like uh, D to V has. Yep, and right now, Io Mantel is still trying to go in a little bit more, but he's having a lot of trouble with these Gordos. I think a lot of the percent that he's retained has been because of it, either through a trap or just getting hit by the Gordo itself. Yep. And that's kind of what's just happening here. Oh, that dash tech saved his life right there. Oh, man. If he mistimed it or misspaced it even just a little bit, that man would have been dead. Oh, he would have been so been dead. Gone. All right. There's another less trap. This man is trying to find this F-Smash. 
And yeah. it's just not working out for him right now. He's kind of fishing for a bit too much. Oh, but that was a great jab to the back throw. Not going to be enough, though. All right, respecting Ganon's recovery. I like it. There's the Gordo going to be able to kill off the top. The weirdest DI I've ever seen on that move. Yeah, and Gordo actually has some weird hitboxes. You know, you get hit with it at the wrong angle. You're DIing the complete wrong direction. All right, and right now to get up attack to get Io Mantello off of his back. And Dog trying to find his way in. Gets the roll into the down tilt. Gets a grab. Great tech so, chase with that grab. Yeah, doesn't quite get the follow up though. That reads the wrong DI. Oh, and, and the, the sideways hitbox of down air going to go straight through Deity's up. He finds the kill off the side. Yeah, that gotta hurt a lot. But right now, End Dog just responding with these Gordos, trying to find this S smash again. This man is absolutely crazy. Down to a uh, shield, tries to find the up smash on there. Gandalf's up smash has so little lag though, he's just gonna throw that jab out to keep him safe. Yep. It's not really about punishing the up smash, it's punishing what comes after the exactly. up smash. But right now, he's trying to find the chase. Unfortunately, Ganon with its little speed, not gonna be able to find any follow-up off the grab. Another jab jab to grab for M Dog. Let's see what he does. Puts oh, the how Gordo. Is Ganon do wow, he's actually able to snap to ledge right under it. Yep. It definitely forced him to make a decision right away, though, and so Endog is going to be able to retain that stage control. Yeah. Oh, and bad DI on that down smash, going straight to the right. We're going at game three for the first match of the night. That's a that's a victory screen I don't see very often. <laughs> that, that's a good point you make. <laughs> Yeah, let's see where they go on this game three. I Honestly, I feel like any stage, it's kind of a double-edged sword for them. I kind like of want to see Gandorf avoid the final destination, go to something with a platform so he can mix up his landing a bit. Cause he's having a really hard time just staying away from Deity. Like, Deity's kind of getting into three. Yeah, so right now we got Iron Man Solo and going to back to Smash Show for this game three. There's a grab punishing that. Down B, but not quite going to be able to find too much of a follow-up. But doesn't matter. The Gordos are putting in a lot of work right now. Yeah, and M-Dog definitely knows his Gordo follow-ups. Oh, oh my that, goodness. Okay, speaking of Gordo follow-ups, that Gordo saved his life. That, that he he would have been so dead. But the down smash going to send him in a semi-spike. He's totally dead. Yeah, no, he just didn't have his jump. That angle was too bad for, D, for Ganondorf to recover from. And only 60%. Ganondorf makes up a lot of damage, but is he going to be able to get past him? M Dog's neutral. Yeah, right now, Iomantel putting in a lot of damage. Oh, I thought he SD'd right there. Oh, uh, no. Again, his Mega Hands, uh, his hands are made of iron, so he's going to be fine. And right now, he's just having a hard time getting back to the stage, though. I kind of like to see it. Oh, my God, the F Smash is going to be enough. After an entire set of.